Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, you're right now calling into me, ring down, and we just got the running order for the grand final. And I've been looking at this now, trying to see, okay, who got the best draw? And when you look here, um, I want to look, okay, so you know, if you look at the first six songs here, um, one thing I want to cover is Cyprus is an interesting opener. I think the reason they've been put here is because it is a staging, which... Uh, supposedly needs more time to be put up so it makes sense to get them um, on quickly um i would maybe i put you know israel or maybe serbia or maybe united kingdom also in that position but i think it is an interesting choice uh especially you know i, I see you know cyprus is doing well on the charts even here in norway but it's also getting a lot of you know controversy for being a song with plagiarism and also trying to be cancelled in Cyprus and all that. Um, so I think this is going to be you know, an interesting and solid opener. Um, but I'm not sure if it sets, you know, what type of energy it sets to the crowd. Uh, also with Albania, I'm not sure what it is with Eurovision uh, and putting Albania second. It seems like every single year they don't really appreciate Albania and it would have been refreshing to you know be fair towards Albania because it seems like they just sabotage Albania every single year and you know the televote usually um, really loves Albania but uh, the people who are making these running orders they don't seem to like them um, so just put them there <laughs> It's weird. Um, also here with Russia and Malta, two very empowering and cool um, songs, which are now coming after each other. Uh, I think Destiny is coming really early. Um, and I think that, you know, it's an interesting choice because she is now between uh, two acts who have gotten a lot of praise uh, around Europe, of course. You know, Destiny is getting a lot of hype, but it's 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 very early on. I feel like, and um, I'm wondering if this will you know change her um, stance in the odds or uh, people's mind if it will be even more of a standout entry uh, now. Uh, and then we look over here to you know from number ten till twelve here. Um, very interesting choices, and I could say you know I think. Greece is built well up by United Kingdom um, and Serbia. I think it's you know a good kind of closer to like you know supposedly you know top it off. Uh, even if I think Serbia has the best song um, or performance, I mean of those three. Um, but Switzerland, I think, is the winner of these three in terms of um, placement because you go from a very you know creative but chaotic staging with uh, with Greece. Uh, a really strong, strong, uh, strong song, um, which is going to do really well. Um, but you, you know, I think this really helps uh, Switzerland, and it's also you know a nice thing uh, to put Iceland here as number twelve. Um, I think you know it builds Iceland up because of them being just before Spain, uh, which Spain also got a really good spot. Um, it builds uh, Iceland up really well, but I think it even more help Switzerland, um, which is even important since it is, you know, in the first half and you want to make one of your contenders as strong as possible, which is why this doesn't really make sense to put it in number six uh, instead of, I don't know, you know, there's a lot of things that, that's weird about this first half, um, you know, and then we have the best part um, is uh, you can wiggle with your middle finger, it will never wiggle back to you from Germany and then put your middle fingers up from Finland. I think it's just done because it's very fun. It's a very fun thing to do, to put these two complete opposites um, up right after each other. It's going to help the commentators, it's going to help the show, it's going to be a memorable moment, it's going to be something that's talked about in the press, on social media, everywhere. And it also helps Bulgaria, who is coming right after Finland. It seems like Bulgaria and Finland can't get away from each other since they also in the semi-final uh, were right after each other. Um, I think this is really good, um, really, really good position for Bulgaria. Um, and then Lithuania comes to build up. I would maybe prefer to have Ukraine right after Bulgaria, but it makes sense with all the things that has to be on that stage to give them Lithuania, which don't have that many props uh, in comparison. And it's also a good way to, you know, to build 
yourself back up. Um, and then you have Ukraine. But what happens there is that one thing that's very common with Ukraine is once you've seen that performance, you need a few minutes to become normal again. You need to, you need to get a breeder. Uh, I don't think you're going to get that breeder until Norway. Um, and that's weird because France is one of the contenders to win the whole contest. And they put them right after instead of putting, for example, Sweden there. Um, so I think that's really strange. Uh, I think in one hand, it's really good because France, for those who don't like Ukraine, France is going to be a, you know, a breath of fresh air. But I think they're going to have many similar fans. Um, I think it's going to be very strong in the telebot, both of them. So it's going to be interesting to see. I think France hasn't gotten the best draw here. Uh, I have put maybe Sweden behind there if this is what you want to do, or Moldova, um, for example. I think those are the two that would fit right afterwards. Um, then you have Authentics happening. You have uh, Norway and Azerbaijan after each other. That's brilliant. It's fun for the commentators. It's going to build both songs up because they have this whole romance going. It's going to be something that uh, will make the flow of the show uh, continue really well. It's going to be a lot of fun on social media. This is going to build interest. Uh, this is a really smart move. And it's also uh, really smart since Azerbaijan doesn't have you know, props. Uh, and Norway has uh, supposedly the heaviest show um, in this year's contest with what they have to get out on stage. So it's, you know, uh, good to not have uh, a lot of things to remove um, from the stage uh, before Norway uh, has to do that switch. And then I think um, the Netherlands also has a brilliant uh, position. I think that's important to do. Also. I, I really like that when the host country um it gets a strong position uh it, it's a very strong song it's a very important song i'm happy it's there then you have italy um and i think this is definitely a winning contender uh, spot i think this is going to be great and i think this is going to be you know a great way to go towards the ending and i think also this is going to make italy's be really separated from san marino they are both you know they're, they're that's my top two uh italian san marino i love them uh, both very much and i'm not sure which is my favorite um but when it comes to these two shows they have a kind of similar style in pyrotechnics but you have more of a uh you know it's more improv it's more like you're vibing to San Marino, they just do their thing. They have fun together. They have great chemistry. Italy is a very structured uh, performance, which also feels, you know, very dynamic and incredible. So I think it's good to have something between Sweden being that choice. I'm not sure about. Uh, I've already seen on social media and forums that people are upset about its placing because Sweden, you know, is typically um, given an advantage in running orders. Um, I think it's a good place for it, but I would, of course, uh, have put something else between because I think Sweden would have stood out more in a different spot. So I would maybe have switched Azerbaijan and Sweden. You lose that story, of course, so you could also try the Netherlands between them, but I would think um, Sweden and Norway has a more um, dynamic um, there. And I think also Azerbaijan could do a better job, but also you could say it wouldn't because Azerbaijan is a dance number. And then you have uh, San Marino, which also, you know, it's, it's not a dance number, but it's, it's still a very big pop number. So it's a difficult one to, you know, put together. And you also want to put these songs in different spots. For example, you wouldn't have uh, Ukraine closing the show again, because I uh, know they didn't, sorry, <laughs> so they didn't close. It's, that's the thing also with Ukraine is that I pretty much have forgotten that Malta came afterwards. It just felt like its own thing, like an interval act, because Ukraine is just like such a great show closer. Um, they need to have a break here. They need to have a break here. If not, they're sabotaging France. Um, it's important. I think it's very important for a break there. And I think also it's good to have a break, you know, somewhere in here. Um, let's see what they do. But I think it would be really wrong to not have a break here 
um, for France, uh, such as chances. But that's what I think. I think there's a lot of great placements here. I don't really disagree with anything um, except for this. I think that's undeserved that Albania is stuck in that position. Um, and it doesn't mean that the second position isn't good. You know, we have had access to them really well from the second position, um, like Albania. <laughs> but it's strange because it's usually looked at as like uh, that they don't really have faith in you. I think, you know, a second position is often is really important to establish a show. And usually the third and fourth or the fourth is where you put like an act you don't really believe in. But here you have, you know, you believe in all the acts. Uh, it's a lot of great acts. So, but I just feel like Albania needed something different. And I would have liked to see Albania switched. Um, Albania could have opened the show, actually. Um, it has a very strong opening to that performance. But that's what I think is the best. Um, I'm guessing, you know, they're going to save some time with Cyprus being first. And uh, it's going to be, you know, good for the people working on these shows but that's what i think um let me know what you guys think about this running order who you think is going to win based on this um because there's a lot of great uh placements here it's going to be a very fun show on saturday so yeah let me know what you think and as always have a great day a great life and please remember to take care of yourself and each other